Y'all got a family feed, so let's get into the tea. I got my eyes out with me. <laughs> so, y'all, we're about to get into DDG. I'm a dad now. Let's get it. Oh, no. <laughs> you thought. All right. Oh. <laughs> Baby, don't even know what she's looking at. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh, if yeah. you just give me a second. It is. It is uh, fuck. the uh, uh, ultrasound. Yeah. 3D. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at her knowing something. Somebody didn't fucking told her. No, huh? no, no. I knew that. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Oh, her little stomach. Oh. Uh, Halo. Now I'm saying hey, like, we'll swish in up in there like the that. Uh -huh. with the baby. <laughs> oh, with the, with the baby. She was pregnant as hell. She sure was. Look at there. Oh, and they gonna just... be such a great dad, bro. Photoshop and everything. Uh-huh. He is gonna be such a great daddy. <laughs> What's good, YouTube, man? welcome back to a crazy video crazy 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 man uh i never it's thought i'd be crazy. making this kind of video but that i always wanted to make job. this kind of video from the title you can know what we this is about that. from the internet you know what this is about from crazy. the back seat you know what this is about that's the duna by the way that's top of the line it, it turned from a um it turned from a uh car seat to a stroller and shit but i'm a dad I'm a dad, y'all. Uh, I have a son. I have a baby boy. He's a newborn. Aww. Uh, he was actually born last year, but we was just waiting on the right time to, you know, basically break the news or whatever. It's been a lot of speculation. <laughs> you know, speculation a lot of y'all should quit y'all jobs, bro. A lot of y'all should quit y'all jobs and start looking into detective work. Because y'all do. DDG, no. First of all, <laughs> you have a woman that everybody's been watching since she was a jit, right? So everything that she's been wearing has literally been the same. It don't take a rocket scientist to know that you probably won't have a huge hoodie on in the middle of the summer. I'm just saying. But not only that, her sweatsuit all the time, big dresses all the time, please. It did not take a rocket scientist to, to figure this out. Honey sauce ain't believe it. I knew it. I told her the whole time. I needed proof. I said, honey sauce, she pregnant as I hell. Need proof. I'm telling you. Proof. <laughs> Do pretty good at it. Proof me. You know? It's been a lot of weird stuff happening. Paparazzi and shit, like weird shit. Like, you know, they follow you home, like all types of stuff. So it's just it's crazy. You know, I'm just I'm just little old me, man. They, just, they ain't looking at me, but shit, you know. That shit was weird, but we here, and it's a blessing, and I love him so much. I don't even, I barely know him. <laughs> he barely know me. We barely know each other, but like I just love him so much, and it's just out. a different type of feeling. And I always like used to hear people say, because I ask people all the time, like, bro, how's it having a kid? Even like when I found out that I was having a kid, I used to always ask people like, just to see how it is and prepare myself and be like, man, how is it having a kid? And they just be like, man, it's unconditional love like i would like literally choke your granny out over my kid right now <laughs> i don't even know him. i've been knowing him less than a month like i don't even know him like that but i would literally choke your granny out over him i would hurt your granny i don't Did care he say if she's he's 86. less than a month oh she just had him i only been known i've been knowing him less than a month like i don't even know him like that but i would literally choke your granny out over him I will hurt your grand. I don't care if she 86 on anything. She touched my kid. I'm choking her, bro. Damn. Off rip. Like, that's how, that's how, how bad I feel about my son. Like, it's just like, it's just a different type of feeling. And he's very handsome. Not well, to shade no other babies. Cause I'm mature now, y'all. Ever since I had him, uh. I've been hit with a newfound maturity that I don't know what it is, but I just feel grown. I'm 26 now. I really feel 26. You feel me? I used to feel like I was still like 23, but after he came out, I feel like I was 30. My age. <laughs> but like, I don't know. Nigga, at least 30. I think he's he's like above average of handsomeness. Like he he looks very good. 
I wasn't even expecting it as a dad. I'm like, you know, I didn't see Woo Wop. Woo Wop was not like that when he first came out. Uh, nigga, you son- and Dub look nothing alike. Okay. Like, you wouldn't even know him and Dub was brothers. Totally different. Son, I ain't gonna lie. No shade to Woo Wop, but he just, he just so handsome, man. He looks good. He looked like if you just took a picture of him and you put him on the front of a Huggies box immediately. It's just like he's just picture ready already and i was just so happy and i'm like man this this nigga you know what i'm saying he gonna he gonna live a good life he gonna live a great life he gonna have a great time growing up he gonna have all the girls all the motion everything i'm just super <laughs> excited you know and it hasn't been hard i don't really have any questions or nothing just kind of just wanted to make the video off the fly and just let y'all know how i feel it's a great experience i already feel like a professional already <laughs> okay like, even last Here. night he peed on me my Dang. son peed on me three times already. Damn. He just pee on me. I think it's because you put the diaper on, not to put his business out there. When you put his diaper <laughs> on, you got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to put his little wee-wee down or whatever. But he peed on me three times already. And I don't even up. be mad. Like, it'd be cool. I'm like, it's all good. You know? What Changing job? diapers. Like, that was probably the most thing that I was scared of. Changing diapers, bro, he, he be doodling a lot. <laughs> and I change his diaper and it's fun. Like, it's like a video game at this point. And I, I genuinely, that's how you know you just okay. love somebody. You know how you with your girl or whatever, and like you can look at your girl doo-doo, and it's, it's cool. Like, you can watch DDG. your girl doo-doo, and it ain't nasty. But if you go like on a first date with a girl you don't really like like that, you look at her, she she bobo, you like, Shh, I don't know if I want to mess with her no more. It's like that type of, like, <laughs> I don't care if he doo-doo, throw Man, up, so threw up on me, peed on me, doodled on me, already. You know, and it's just like, love you son you know it's cool man i ain't really tripping you know i feel you it is what it is but i don't know man it's just being a new dad it's just it's been a great experience it's been very very fun another thing i seen him come out i watched the whole thing oh, i was honestly God. scared because you know i <laughs> i was him? like man i don't Definitely, really want to see this who else you would feel he me be? i'm look, like damn at the he same just time like he, bro, looked, like, he was 18 right there Got to cover your hair and everything. Oh, that's a cup. That's crazy. He was scared of I don't really want to see this. You <laughs> feel me? But I'm like, damn, at the same time, bro, like, I don't plan on having a, a million kids. You feel me? Like, maybe down the line, or, you know, maybe one or two more. But, like, I'm probably not going to see this again. So I went down there and I looked. Aww. It was the craziest shit I ever seen in my life, bro. I'm, listen, I get women. beautiful? I have a newfound respect for women. Okay. Like as as a dude, bro, we really got it easy, bro. Talk I couldn't imagine pushing you. the baby on my PO, bro. Like trying to tell after you. seeing that, bro, I'm like, oh man, this is crazy. I know. I this wish y'all could push him out your PO. How we are I really born do. is amazing. Like Isn't it's it? so crazy. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy, bro. I encourage anybody to experience. And how are y'all born? Okay. From a woman. Tell fresh and fit that old bum ass. Anyway. Uh-oh. This like honestly, what you living for? I feel like this is what we put on this earth for to recreate and, and love. I feel like I found a whole new purpose in life. I feel like a different type of motivation right now. Like my motivation is like through the roof. I'm like, man, I don't never want my kid to ever want for nothing. I don't never want him to even think about asking for anything. He already got it. You feel me? Like I don't want him I want him <laughs> to get lost in the house. My house big now, but I want a ten times bigger house so he can have a whole little side of the house to itself when it's homies. You feel me? Like, I just got a mm-hmm. newfound motivation and, and and my purpose is to make his life as best as possible and as fun as possible and just stress free. Like y'all know this about me, man. I didn't grow up in good conditions. Like I didn't grow up in the richest conditions. Granted, you know, my mama did her thing and my dad did his thing and you know, we, I had shit, but I ain't have it like this. You feel me? And I'm trying to get him like that. You feel me? So it's right. like, I don't know. Like my my whole purpose, my main goal, my main priority in life right now is to make sure his childhood is the best childhood in the world. Like I want him to be the happiest kid in the world. It will be. Like Wuwa, for instance. Wuwa is the happiest kid in the world. He gets anything he wants, whenever he wants. He's smart. He's a genius. He's he's funny. He's got a great personality. He's well parented. I look up to my brother in that sense. I look at him with Woo Up and I'm like, damn, I want that for me and my kid. I want me and him to have like a, it's my son, but I want me and him to have like a friendship, a brother to brother 
relationship and not just hey go do your go to your room they gonna chew his ass up by that one for your chores i want him to come to me and be like hey daddy i just you know what i'm saying okay. i was with this girl over here man oh, what you think about him? she cool you know what i'm saying like shit like that like i want me and him to have like a one of these type of friendships and i, I can already feel it i know he a newborn but i can already feel me and his connection is just like you know we like there already. He already know what's up. He like, oh, that's okay, beautiful. Cool. He came out. He seen me. He like, oh, I got a cool daddy. Oh, okay, baby. Period. For sure. For sure. This shit finna be cool then. See, he seen me. He already knew I'm. I'm gonna get him right. But it's a blessing, man. It's 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 amazing. And I don't know. I I don't plan on showing his face, or you know, she don't plan on showing his face. It's just too priceless. He's Period. great looking. Like. I Think of a handsome kid, handsome child, newborn, by the way. No f features ain't even fully developed. Just think about it. Think about the most handsomest kid in the world. Blend me and her looks together. Legend was the cutest baby on the internet. I'm just trying to tell you. That darn legend, I mean, he's obviously still adorable. I'm talking about him as a little baby. Oh, the cutest little thing. Okay. But I mean, this is DDG and Haley. I know that baby's gorgeous. His little red self. No, he red. But think of him as being the best features of us possible. That's what he looked like. He's a beautiful baby and healthy baby. You know, thank the Lord healthy. Jesus Christ. That's all. You know, that's all that really matters. That he's healthy and he able to live a great life and stress free. So yeah, y'all. I'm a dad. I don't really want to talk your head off too crazy on this video. I just kind of wanted to give y'all a little quick little life update and let y'all know what's going on, man. I'm going to continue to vlog, continue to post Snapchats and shit. I really be on Snapchat most of the time, but I do want to get back into my daily routine on vlogging since, you know, I ain't really got to, you know, y'all know now. So now y'all can get off my meat. You know, I ain't about <laughs> oh, DDG. It's a bassinet in the back. Oh, DDG. Oh, you see. Uh, so what? So what? He be so aggravated. You mad because your meat don't work? Go have your own kid, man. Don't worry <laughs> about what I got going on. But I ain't got to worry about all that detective work no more. So now I can just live my life. So I'm able to vlog more and able to just, you know, oh, do whatever. Y'all um, already know what it is. What's her name? The Brat Baby? Oh! oh! He is a handsome little thing. Now, he is handsome, okay? He is so Dickhead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he is. Oh. It is. Me and Hallie had a baby together. I wouldn't have chose no other person in the world to have a child with. We learning. She's a great mom. Like it's crazy. She's she's amazing. Like it's oh. it's like I don't know what it is, bro. It's like before the baby come out, I'm gonna quit yapping in a minute, but before the baby <laughs> come out, you're a little scared. You're a little nervous. You like this shit might be crazy, but then once he come out, and then you you, you end up because you're in the hospital for like two days. When you're in the hospital, <clears throat> it's like, okay, you got nurses coming in, changing this diaper for you, flipping them, swallowing them up, everything, doing everything that you need to do, and then you take them home, and it's like, damn, he really here. But something just kick in, you just know what to do. It's crazy. Like I ain't scared to hold him no more. Like. I grab him like this, boom, swaddle him up. Like I'm just <laughs> professional dad. She's a professional mom. And we're doing great. And you know, we got money. Okay. We thought know. about getting a night nurse. They ain't get one. Don't even need one. The only thing is, I promise I'm going to quit yapping at this. <laughs> the only thing is, he does wake up like it's you on his schedule or you on your baby's schedule. All the parents that's watching this, y'all know this, you on their schedule. Like if he say, hey, last night he was like, hey, nigga, get up, I need a bottle. I need a bottle, bro, go go make that bitch. And if you don't, he get to yelling, I need a bottle. And he get to <laughs> crying and crying and crying and you gotta go downstairs, hurry up and make the bottle, bring it back upstairs, feed him, burp him. Not in that big Once ass burp, house. Like, it's crazy. Baby, we got that big ass house. Let me tell you something. All, we gonna have a bottle set up over there, a bottle set up over there and in the kitchen because I'm not going back downstairs. Mm -mm. Oh, hell no. Go ahead and make me a sink up this motherfucker because let me tell you something. I need a microwave. What is it? Well, a bottle warmer. Yeah. And a bottle warmer. Don't even need a microwave. All you need is water, right? Water with the, with the, the, the formula and a bottle warmer. Oh, I got it already. <laughs> let me tell you something. 
Could, can't wait to buy it. I mean, if we was having a baby, because we not. Could have been just about mango. <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> it's like the little things. Matter. Or a titty. Everybody can't use the titty, though, Chrissy. You know that. There's uh-huh. so much. You're like, a nurse. Burping a baby <coughs> is like a success. Like, when you hear him burp, you're like, yes, he burped. Or you hear him shit, you're like, yes, he shit it. <coughs> but it's just like... I don't know. I'm just excited, y'all. I'm just happy. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. I'm just yapping. I'm gonna stop though. But if he gotta go, I love downstairs. y'all, man. I oh, appreciate y'all. But being... even if, oh well, see, that's when we would have to get a refrigerator upstairs. So y'all saying if she breastfeeding, she got got the breastfeeding bottles. Would you put them in the freezer or something? I mean, it, yeah, yeah. If she's pumping, yeah. But see, baby, I ain't do none of that. <laughs> I just pop that titty in their mouth and go back to sleep. But that's everybody ain't got it like that. And uh, shout out to your titty though. Ah. <laughs> I mean, knocked out, girl. But everybody can't use a titty. And if he going to get a bottle, clearly it may not be no titty involved. Or she's just doing that so he can be involved too. Ah, something. Who knows? My point is, I will have everything prepareth. Been on this journey with me, um, and I'm just, I'm excited to just see what this new chapter takes me and my son and Hallie, and we just, you know, figure out where where, where we go from here and just continue to inspire and motivate my and just son. have a great mm-hmm. time. But yes, y'all, I am a dad. It is real. I know I've been trolling like a month. for like a week or so, but... For I like diapers. A, a, tw- a month, I mean nine trolling, months. Man, I gotta get wipes. I gotta buy shit. I got a, I got a son. So I was trolling to get y'all, to, you know, get them clicks and shit. But we mm. good now, y'all. I love y'all, it. man. I appreciate y'all so much. And uh, I see y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all follow me on Snapchat. Also, I dropped a freestyle on my um on my music channel. I'm finna start dropping a lot more music. I feel like I mean, yap for a little bit longer. You ain't got nothing else to do. But I feel <laughs> like. <laughs> 2023 was my biggest setback musically and um i feel like i really struggled to figure out which route i wanted to go and it caused me i'm sorry because that sucks because i love his music honey sauce does think different however his last album you didn't like it i I think that he has a great sound i just think that his him putting trolling in the music, like him trolling in the music is not going to sell that music. Because that trolling shit only lasts for so long. He need to make hits that's going to last forever. He has his moments. And um, and the great words of Babyface, you can't have moments. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you got to always grab them like that hot girls have cold hearts Mm -hmm. and cold that was a banger people slept on that that my shit people slept on that song for real that song slept the fuck on he got a couple songs that i love but not to drop as much and it caused me to lose my excitement that i once had and like you know around like 2021 you know, 2020. DDG is 26. 2020, like that little three year era. 37 is crazy. You know, COVID, <laughs> post COVID, I was just dropping. That nigga don't even look 37. And like a lot, and I was just on my own schedule. And I feel like I'm getting back to that now. So I'm going to be dropping a lot more. Um, go subscribe to the channel, DDG. It's almost at 3 million. I've been stuck at 2.94 million for the longest. <sighs> but hopefully. Next year, January, it'll be a different narrative, different story. 2023 was my worst setback for my music career, but it was my best for my life. It was the best for my life. Come on now. So, um, that nigga traveled all over the world, picked up a new income with Snapchat, and they out here getting big bags. Okay. Um, Evidently had some great sex and had a baby. The, the sex was clearly amazing. <laughs> just outside across the country and shit, having some good old sex. Okay. But, um, yeah, he uh, it seemed like his life was pretty lit in there. I'm excited, you know. Nothing but motivation. You don't even lose if you give up. I love y'all. Once again, i see you on the next video. Follow me on Snapchat if you want more updates. You want to see me some more. I know you miss me. And I'll see y'all on the internet somewhere, someplace.
Okay. Welcome, baby Halo. That's lit. Shout out to Halo. Shout out to DDG. Shout out to um, Hallie. That's an exciting thing. It is. He did try to end this video like five times. He huh? did. But he, he told us we ain't had shit to do, which is true. Go right out. All we do is react to the video. Yeah. Yeah. But nah, we got shit to do. Y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, Shout out to baby Halo. Um, Welcome in a new bundle of joy. All right. And that's all we got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Shabai.